Hello, hello. So, um, sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It's very hot here in Maine. It's like 70 degrees. Can y'all believe that? Um, tonight is actually going to be the last lunar eclipse until 2025. It's going to be a blood moon tonight. The moon will turn red as the sun and the moon cross paths. I just thought that was a really fun fact. There's a really cool Times article that you can read about it. It's it's kind of cool. But anyways, we're playing some Sims today. And this is Miss Rosemary Harris. Uh, we're doing our coffee day kind of mini let's play. Now, Rosemary is a coffee addict. And she has recently heard about, like, the newest coffee house. And we act, I actually built this in a three-part real-time build series it took me three hours but she's just heard of this new cafe and you know she has been wanting to check it out she's hoping to kind of get out and meet people because she feels like you know she's getting older she wants to meet the one she wants to settle down you know and and live that life um but she ha just hasn't found the right person yet um, so she's hoping if she goes and socializes, maybe she'll meet somebody who catches her eye. Um, it's very nice. It's a family-friendly place. She can even go and sell stuff, um, which I think is really cool. She doesn't have anything to sell right now. But if she did, that would be cool. There's a hot tub, a pool. Like, this is a state-of-the-art cafe. It's one of the best Sometimes people rent out the upstairs area after their wedding for wedding reception. Like, after they elope, they'll throw, like, a big dinner party there kind of deal. Um, there is a mixology station upstairs for that. There is an arts area because they like to support the local artists and music. Um, and there's, like, some gardening pots, which I think is really cool. Um, Rosemary, she's going to plant some... Maybe just some starter vegetables. I think that would be really cool. Um, that and starter vegetables, usually I get like, I don't get ones that are going to grow into like tall trees. So Rosemary is excited. Um, she's going to come plant these. Woo, Rosemary, because she's been getting into some gardening and she loves to help the community. And they'll use these to make like local juice that they'll sell to the... Uh, to the locals you know so it's a very community oriented cafe they give cooking lessons so they have two kitchens for their cooking lessons um one is for cooking the other it's for like baking so there's like a baking station here there is a juice fizzing station so we can actually go and earn some money which is good because we only have 211 dollars now, Rosemary has not been going to her scientist job because her heart just isn't in it. She really wants to be a chef. Um, she just hasn't, you know, found the right place that she wants to work at yet. Um, so for now, she's just been selling things that she has made. Um, she's going to load this with some green peas. We're going to do maybe three. And then we're going to cook some cupcakes in the meantime and put these in our inventory because we might go sell them over here. Like a lot of people come to this cafe to do that, to take like little lessons and then go sell their goods. Like it's a very nice area for the community um, just in general. And I really think that that's a cool, cool concept. Um, she's going to make a few. She wants to... Um, she definitely wants to bake some powdered donuts because, like, you know, fall vibes. I feel like donuts are five, uh, fall vibes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, like, I'm totally into donuts in the fall. Like, that's a breakfast that I love. Um, and I feel like coffee, too, is another fall vibe thing, especially. Maybe not iced coffee, which I will drink in the winter, like, just because I, I like it that much. She's going to start fizzing. It's going to cost $45, which is expensive to kind of get started on this new hobby of hers. But she is so excited for it, you guys. She really, really is. Um, I kind of wish there was like the tarot thing so you could make the tarot drinks, but I'm not going to add one in. I just, I, I, I thought about it for a second. I think there's enough objects on this lot. Once we get more Sims, it'll probably run run slowly. 
um, like this is a, a lot of objects like in one place like this place is decked out um, so it wouldn't surprise me if it ran slowly I'm just saying um, but I think it looks really nice like no doubt about that it looks beautiful and I am very happy with it so she in the meantime is oh please do not order anything girl like, I don't mind if you introduce yourself to some people and make some friends, but, like, I actually need you to go sell some stuff. Um. So, maybe we'll... Can I not put my items in here? You're telling me I can't use it because I don't own it. Oh, no. I thought that would actually be functional to use. Oh, that makes me so mad. That makes me so, so mad. So I can't... But I can sell these. So maybe I'll just, like... I can sell them when I get back to, like, Rosemary's place. We're going to collect our juice that we have just fizzed. Because, um, like I said, this cafe is a little, a little slow. So let's go collect your juice, Rosemary. You know, you, you made that juice. You gotta, you gotta be collecting it and earning them pennies. Uh, she is, oh, suspicious fizz. Um, uh, green delight, green delight fizz. We're just, we're gonna change the name. It looks very suspicious. We don't really know if it's safe to drink, but like, that's not my problem. That's the customer's problem. Is that... Am I allowed to say that? That that's the customer's problem? Like, yo, sorry if my drink, like, poisoned you, but that ain't my problem. I just made it. You know, you bought it. You, you trusted me. Like, that was your mistake. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. Ooh. Um, I love this thing up here, though. I feel like Rosemary would be the type of sim to elope and then do, like, a small, like, dinner party and she'd probably rent out this venue just because it is beautiful like this up here is like a date night place people like rent out to surprise that special someone like there's so many skills you can learn on this lot that it's it's amazing i'm gonna start fizzing i'm gonna spend another 45 dollars if i get more suspicious fizz i will tell you what i will not be happy like, that'll be a waste of my simoleons. Um, no, no, come sit here. Come, come just sit. Oh, she's, she's jittery. She needs coffee now. Oh, my goodness. She's like me. She needs her coffee to function. Honey, I feel you there. I really do. But I really just need you to watch this juice. Because you don't want nobody up in here stealing that $45 juice that you just fizzed. Um, come on, girl. Like... Get your head in the game. Maybe let's make some carrot cake cupcakes. Because these are things that we're going to want to sell when we get home just to kind of pay the bills. Um, this is what Rosemary very much she likes to do. And she's actually probably really excited to use the, um, the juice fizzing machine. I did size it down. I don't feel like I really had to. Oh, what just happened? Oh, my cupcakes went in there. Like, I feel like I definitely could have maybe left this the appropriate size like I probably I probably could have made it work with move objects on BB top move objects on I, I definitely think I could have made that work like I could have just scooted that over one and scooted this over and it would have been fine like there's plenty of of space um, I actually think I would like a chair over here, though, because that just looks, it, it looks so off. Maybe that's just me, like, maybe, maybe what I need is a place to put the cupcakes when they're done. Like, a nice, like, like a nice orange. <laughs> that's kind of, um, uh, that, that wasn't what I was thinking of, but, like, that would work technically like that that would work um that's a little light lighter than the wood i want maybe just like this we'll just get this thing 
Maybe you can read while you're waiting for your juice. Like, that would be a good idea. Because I didn't really think of, like, what I was going to do up there as far as that goes. Um, uh, actually, I think what I'll do is put a fishbowl. Or, or I could put a soccer ball. Like, people could play soccer outside. Like, maybe a little, a little soccer ball, a little football. Um, and then, do, 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 what else could I put up there? Actually, I could put this. This would be really cool. Um, I don't know if I could, like, I could get it in a black, too. Like, you know, make some, maybe they host, like, a, a crochet night. Um, there's even, like, a knitting basket. I could put that. I don't think the knitting basket would look bad either, um, but I might go with the crochet one because I kind of feel like that would be useful. I don't know if I can put it in my inventory though. If it doesn't let me put it in my inventory, that that would be really, really sad for me. Um, like it was either that or I was going to say I could do like this with maybe like, like a little soccer ball kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I could do a, just a fish tank. But then, like, who's taking care of this fish all the way up here? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why, but I, that doesn't make sense to me. You know, the Grim Reaper being in-game makes sense to me. But, like, you know, you want to have, like... You want to have, um... Fish that apparently nobody's taking care of. Like, that, that I can't do. Um... Anyways, I'm going to put the, this because I feel like it matches. Yeah, I think that's nice. I think that's nice. And it's something little. That way it doesn't feel like it's like a super big object. But it's something to do maybe while we while we do... Oh, it's more suspicious fizz. Uh, we're going to call this tarot reader fizz alicious. Licious, fizzalicious, yeah. You know, because maybe it's reading into the future. Like, you drink this fizz, let me tell you, you are not going to be uh, walking away after drinking it. Um, you know, you know what I mean. Like that, that fizz is reading your future, and your future is gone, baby. Um, <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> Um, we made two sus suspicious fizzes in one day, and we're we're definitely gonna be selling them. I cannot have my sim my sim drinking them, so now I've got to uh, view my inventory because it wouldn't let me sell my goods. Um, I'm gonna go stock the table. Can you go stock it? Oh, she slipped in the mud. She is so clumsy. Like if I could have given her the clumsy trait, I feel like it would have fit her. Like, she doesn't have the clumsy trait, but it definitely would have fit her. Um, so she's over here. She is going to... Actually, I want to harvest all, because I have, like, pumpkins and things that I can... That I can, um, harvest all crops. Can I... Can I... Okay, then I want to view my inventory, and I want to just... Can I... Can I not... I'm very suspicious. Why can't I? I can put those in, but I can't put my pumpkins in. That's very interesting. Okay, we're going to tend the table, and we're going to just start a yard sale and maybe just sell those. That's enough money to, like, pay the bills, though, I'll tell you what. Um, who wants some yummy juice? No? No juice? They're like, we'll take the cupcakes. We'll pass on the suspicious fizz. But, like, oh, no, somebody bought it. Oh, my goodness, he actually bought my, my fizz. My, my fizzalicious fizz. Uh, the terror reader fizzalicious uh, is not selling. The green delight fizz sold. There we go. Woo. Uh, let's end this. Yeah, I think I could make this like a full-time career for her. I really, really do. Um, I actually think that that would be really something really, really cool to do in The Sims. Um, where, is, where do I pay my bills? 
I must have like a mailbox, right? They didn't like come and take my mailbox, did they? That would be that would be so sad if they did. Like if they just come and they were like, "Look, you oh oh, there's my mailbox right on cue." Um, do don't I have bills to pay that I can't afford? I thought I had bills to pay. Um, do 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 do. Um, nope. Uh, nope. Oh, show bills information. What is my bills going to be? The total is going to be $565. No, they're going to take all my money. I just earned that. Ugh. Rosemary is definitely going to find it hard to, like, get ahead. We're just going to sell the Harvest Fest gnomes. Like, that's free money. Like, I need to get ahead in life. I want to get, I want to get an actual house, not a trailer. She wants to, like, meet the one, you know. I don't know who the one is for Rosemary, but, um, she would like to meet the one. Uh, she, she definitely would. Oh, she can stream a Let's Play, too. That'd be really cool for her. Um, who is this? I, I'm not feeling Jeb Harris. He's a teen, first of all, and... That bag over his head is a no for me, buddy. I am really, really sorry, dude. Um, I do have to purchase some seeds. Uh, I want to purchase oversized seeds. Um, maybe I'll do watermelon and mushrooms. And then I'll plant the mushrooms here, and I'll plant the watermelon seeds there. Come on, girl! Pick up your energy. You can't be falling asleep. Oh, her needs are horrible. I have done nothing to attend to her needs. If she if she dies, like, I swear, I'll be so sad, even though I've, like, neglected her. Um, I'm going to have her, like, maybe sing in the shower. She'll get some fun and hygiene up at the same time. You know, she's in there. That seems like a very rosemary thing to do. Um, I'm going to have her maybe clean up whatever that is. And, oh, she's actually very... I'm going to just cheat her needs because, like, this is ridiculous. Um, there we go. See, you're feeling so much better. <gasps> There's Marcus! Hey, Marcus! Yo, what's up? What's up, my homie? What is up? I don't know what it is about Marcus Flex, but he keeps coming to my door. I think he's interested. I really... I really, really do. I think he is very interested in her. Hopefully he ain't just, like, playing her, you know? Um, let me know your opinions in the comment section. Like, do you think... Do you think he's playing her? I kind of think he, he might be. I don't know if Marcus is really trustworthy, you know? I don't know. Like, I, I feel like he could just be like... But he, st he stopped and visited us a, a couple times now. You know, we had him over for Thanksgiving. Rosemary is really liking this guy. So, you know, I feel like maybe... Maybe he could be somebody for Rosemary. Oh, I'm gonna have her maybe, um... Ooh, maybe compliment his appearance. Ooh, we'll do a little, little, some little poses and everything. This is this is getting real risque up in here. You know what I mean? Uh, she is definitely feeling Marcus. I don't know. Maybe he really does like her. He's accepting it like no tomorrow. Um, maybe she'll do a first kiss. I feel like Rosemary is very, like, she's very proper, so I feel like she's very naive as well. Not necessarily because she's proper, but I feel like that because, like, I don't feel like she has a lot of dating experience. I, I really don't. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I don't think she has. I mean, she's basically focused on saving up to get her trailer and, like, paying her bills up until this point of her life she doesn't have any like past love interests so she might she might ask marcus to be her boyfriend like she she serious she she seriously seri seriously might um if he says no that's okay 
Oh, he said yes. He wants to be with Rosemary. And I feel like Marcus would kind of be like, hey, you want to go into the next room and just chitty chitty bang bang? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, the way I just put that to you does not... Go, come, come, come back, Marcus. You were going to suggest something. Yeah, he went to check on our plants and was like, oh, these are nice. Maybe, maybe we should have some time alone. Like, you're really pretty. You know, it's, the, your bedroom is right there. Um, yeah, I feel like, I feel like Marcus, it, he, he would definitely be a little, um, Oh, he left. He left her. Oh, she's just gonna eat like... She's just gonna get some leftovers. He left. But she does have a boyfriend now. Now tell me, y'all, do you think Marcus is a faithful type? Or do you think maybe he's already got somebody he's with and he's like trying to get Rosemary to be a side chick? Or like that he would be the type to cheat on Rosemary? Let me know what you think. Um, I, I, I think Rosemary's pretty smitten with uh, Marcus, so I don't really, I don't really like think she's really. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think she's really thinking anything through. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, if today is your birthday, happy birthday! If you are new to my channel, welcome, and I hope that you return. Bye.